They were jumping on the fence, they were knocking the fence, knocking the fence over, someone was breaking into the house. In today's video, I'm gonna break down eight websites that you can use to make $100 per day with. If you ain't big about the money, then what's the problem? All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing in today's video is we're gonna be targeting people who have crowdfunding campaigns that are not performing well, and we're gonna get paid to actually help them improve their campaign's performance. All right guys, so here we are on a computer and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for these crowdfunding campaigns and So today's been the day of projects. We are uh, working on the yard today. Actually, I'm not personally working on it, but we hired people to work on it. Came and ripped out uh, all of these fences. You can see there, whole trailer full of stuff, bunch of wood. Basically, there was a fence that kind of outlined around there. We've got wild turkeys that are around the yard, flying all over the place. They're really annoying. You may have saw in an earlier video that I posted like a year ago, they were knocking at the window. We actually thought someone was breaking into the house. Pretty crazy. So they went, they were jumping on the fence, knocked the fence over, and uh, basically we had to remove it. But what I'm working on today is actually, why I'm out here working, is I'm cleaning up this four-wheeler. We have two four-wheelers here. That one, and then this one right here. So we've got these two four-wheelers or ATVs. We don't use both of them. This one we use to plow the driveway. Plow. So that works out nice, but the other one we just really aren't using. We actually got this funny story. We bought this one from China. It's kind of like those ones that they sell on AliExpress. We got it from China and coincidentally enough, I don't know how to put these together, but we found some on Craigslist that so we had to take it in the shop and get it repaired. And now it's just filthy dirty and some of the stickers are peeling off of it just from sitting so long. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm quickly gonna just go and like clean it up and then kind of paste the stickers back on. And we're gonna list it on Craigslist and try to sell it. So if you're out there and you've got stuff laying around your house, hey, that's a quick way to make some money too. You know, so try and sell it. You can find free stuff on Craigslist even, take it and flip it and sell it. You can flip it on like Facebook groups even. There's like those buy, sell, trade groups. You could do that as well. All right guys, so here we are on a computer and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for these crowdfunding campaigns. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer to come in and help them make their campaign better. There's a lot of these campaigns out there that exist on these sites and I'm gonna show you what all eight of the websites are. But there's a lot of campaigns that exist on them that just aren't really going anywhere. They're not seeing much success with their campaigns. Um, they're not meeting their funding goals. And then there's other campaigns like this one on the screen right now that is doing really well. So before we kind of dive into the specifics, I want to share with you why this campaign is doing so well. So first off, they have a good video. So video is important. If we click play on this video, you can see it's well done. Um, I'll just kind of scroll through it a little bit. It's basically kind of, you know, an explainer video. Think of this like the commercial for the campaign or for the product. You're gonna tell the people what the product is about, why they want it, the benefits, some of the features, all that good stuff. And one thing you'll notice when we go through some of the other campaigns that maybe aren't so good is that they're not doing these types of things. They're not putting in like the videos. So that's one thing that can definitely separate a good campaign. And one of the things that we can actually help them with now if you're not experienced with this stuff don't worry i'm going to share all that stuff with you during this video exactly what you need to be doing when you take one of these clients on and i recommend you charge like three thousand dollars to take a client like this on and actually do all this stuff for them you know there's about 30 days in a month so you figure if you land one client that's about a hundred dollars per day that evens out to so even if you just land one client per month you'd be looking at about a hundred dollars per day off of one of these websites so let's scroll down and look at the rest of this one. Again, this is a successful one. We want to reverse engineer what they're doing and why they're so successful at it. So you'll notice that they have like various pictures and banners all over um, that kind of show the product and some of the logos, um, nice descriptions, some more banners with testimonials in it, uh, more video. Uh, they've got like this little infographic here, which is kind of cool. So these are all things that we can easily implement without needing to be a videographer, without needing to be a graphic designer, and I'm gonna share with you how we do that. Okay, so that's a, what a good campaign would basically look like, 
And that's what crowdfunding is all about. Crowdfunding is someone has a product idea, but they don't have the money to launch it, right? So they go and they try to get people to convince them that their product is cool and basically back their product before it's actually finished. So that's basically the concept and idea behind it. Let me show you one that maybe isn't so good. So here's one, and this one seems a little less um, well done, I guess you could say. I don't wanna say it's bad, it's not that it's bad, but you can see they've they've not raised much money. You know, we're looking at $999 compared to this one who's raised like over a million, I think it said. Yeah, over a million dollars. So you can see what the difference is right off the bat. It's not very um, convincing. There's no explainer video talking about what it is. You know, you can't really tell. You scroll down, it's just a bunch of like words. There's not really any images in there that grab your attention. So that's what a bad one would look like. Now, what we basically want to do is we want to approach people who don't have a really successful Kickstarter campaign or crowdfunding campaign because there's other websites out there and we want to position ourselves as a specialist. We want to say, look, we're the expert in Kickstarter campaigns and what we want to help you do is we want to help get your campaign up to par of people like this so that you know you can get more backers in and we want to help you do that we know what it takes to do that so that's what i'm going to share with you in this video position yourself as an expert and command those expert like prices a specialist who specializes in this can charge upwards of three thousand dollars easily okay so let's talk about the kind of different components and how to provide the service so explainer video all this stuff honestly can be done on Fiverr. You can go on Fiverr. There's people on here that are making explainer videos. You could hire people on Upwork if you wanted as well. Um, but I'm just showing you an example. Um, there's lots of explainer videos on here. They range anywhere from price from like $70. I mean, there's some really expensive one. Uh, those are probably really high end, but you probably don't need something super high end. I would say somewhere between $35 and $200, you could get an explainer video done. and and it can be either like this or it could be more like a cartoon type animated thing that would be fine too but it's going to basically put an explainer video there because that this one lacks that it just doesn't have it and it doesn't grab your attention you don't know what the product is about some people are visual people they need to see and listen they can't just like look at some blank picture and then read through the, a bunch of paragraphs so that's pretty easy to do. We're talking 35 to $200 to get that done. Or you could do it yourself. I mean, if you know how to do stuff like that, then awesome. Then you could do it yourself. The next thing would be a banner. So when we look at this campaign, we're seeing all these little banners that are popped up. Again, if you know Photoshop, you're creative, you could probably even use Canva, canva.com. Great resource. You could probably do this part yourself using Canva. If not, there's people on here for $10 for five dollars that are making great looking banners you can see i've hired some of them before they make great looking banners and you can use those banners to throw in to the actual crowdfunding and and throw it in there so take on a client they're leveraging your expertise of finding all of this stuff and knowing what to do and that's why i'm sharing it with you okay next is the infographic thing we talked about right there's they've got this cool little infographic again go into fiverr type in infographic $15 right here. This guy looks like he's making some pretty good infographics. I've hired people on Upwork before to do infographics for me. I use Upwork a lot. I find a lot of talented people on Upwork. Um, so, you know, go look on here. I mean, like, this looks great. For $15, it's in a different language, but um, you can have them do it in whatever language, obviously. But for $15, this looks excellent. This looks really, really good. So you're basically arbitraging everything. You're, you're going in and you're doing kind of all this legwork, but here's where you really kick things up a notch. Okay, just getting all this stuff done is a good start, but you can really kick it up a notch for them by running Facebook ads for them. So you could go, you could create them a Facebook page. I've got some other videos on my channel that talk about running Facebook ads. You could go check those out. And you could just set up a simple Facebook campaign form. You probably wouldn't even have to spend a big budget on it. You just target people who are interested in, you know, this is a tech product. Target people who are interested in different tech magazines, different uh, tech websites, you know, different books about technology. That would be really easy. And you could target those people and make an ad that pushes them over to their Kickstarter page or their crowdfunding page that they're trying to raise money for. And boom, done. So those are basically the four components. That's what you're gonna do as a specialist trying to drive traffic. 
you're gonna try and make it look good, get their messaging right with the video and the infographic and banners straightforward. How do you find these low performing ones though? You know, we, we saw a good one, we saw kind of a low performing one. How do you find it? Well, on these websites, you'll basically have a list where you can view all of them. And what you wanna do is you wanna just kind of scroll down through the list and you can kind of see a loading bar here. It'll say how much funded it is and how much money they've raised. Like this one's raised $7,000. It's only 15% funded. And you can go through and you can kind of go and look. Like you can kind of see right here, maybe this isn't uh, attention grabbing enough. Maybe if they had a better graphic on there or something, it, maybe it would do a little bit better. So you just go through and you start to look. Like here's the one I, I just showed you. 783 euros pledged, 5% funded. And I just looked and instantly knew when I looked at this, this doesn't look very exciting. And that's just kind of a, like a tell that, okay, this is something that maybe we could go in and help them with. So like I said, there's eight websites out there that exist and there maybe is even more, but I found this website over on QuickBooks uh, website on their blog that listed all of them out. So I'll quickly go through it with you. Number one is Kickstarter. That's the website that we were on today. Number two is GoFundMe, very popular one, Indiegogo. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of these before. You've probably seen even Facebook ads on them before. I know I have. And that's basically what you're going to do. You're going to help them out. Uh, Patreon, Rocket Hub, Go Get Funding, uh, Ululi, never heard of that one, Circle Up. Um, so those are all eight. So again, this is the eight websites that you can use to easily pull out $100 per day. Again, I recommend going at this as a specialist with someone who's kind of like the all-encompassing package of helping people who are looking to crowdfund a project, get their messaging right, get their videos right, their banners, and then run Facebook ads to it. And at $3,000 a month, that equates to about $100 per day. And you just land one of these clients per month and you're golden. All right, so that is the tutorial for you. All right guys, so there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Those are the eight websites and it's pretty straightforward strategy. I thought it was pretty cool. If you liked it, don't forget to smash a like on this video. If you're not subscribed yet, again, my name is Paul James. This is the place where we talk about entrepreneurship, motivation, starting businesses. So if you're in any of those things, I'd highly recommend you drop below the video, subscribe, tick the bell notification icon. And if you want, you could drop a comment actually on the video saying something like I've subscribed and I'll go back through after the video is over. I will read it and I will reply back to it because I'm so excited that you're a new subscriber here. But until next time guys, we'll see you in the next video. I am Paul James. Peace out.